here is another practice work energy problem. Um, so this one is kind of small, so I'm going to read it to you. Uh, I made this one up. A hydroelectric power plant worked by damming up a river and then let, letting the water fall down and convert to energy. Well, convert to a different kind of electrical energy. Suppose the dam is 10 meters tall and has a flow rate of 10,000 kilograms per second. So that's the mass per second of the water. Uh, if the generator is 50% efficient, what power can this uh, dam generate power? Okay, so let's draw a picture. There's, this is a, a, pretty, a pretty great problem because it's real, right? Uh, here is my dam like that and there's the water and so water is going to start let's say essentially from up here and end up down here okay um, so it's going to go and this is 10 meters and then the uh, um, I'll call this F is 10,000 kilograms per second so I guess that's probably a small stream but who knows and that's all I have. Oh, except the efficiency E is 0 0.5. Okay, so we want to calculate the power, which is the change in energy per time. So I don't know the time. I'm just going to pick the time. Let's just pick. Delta T is one second. And then it will all work out in the end. Trust me. And so in that one second, how much energy do I get from the water? So I can say delta E is going to be mg delta Y. That's the mass that falls over the, the waterfall times the gravitational field G times the change in height. And let's actually also convert that with E, the efficiency. So I know the change in energy. I don't know the mass, but I actually, actually can find that. So it's not too difficult. Because if I just say in one second, delta T equals 1, then M is going to be uh, 1 times 10 to the 4th kilograms, right? Because if it's 10,000 kilograms per second, in one second you get 10,000 kilograms. So that's that. So now it's actually not such a big problem. I can do the power. Power is going to be the change in energy, E, M, G, delta Y, over the time delta T. And in fact, if you want to, if you wanted to, you could, get, you could do it for any time. M over delta T is F, right? So that's the same thing. Let's just plug it all in. So I get 0 0.5. The mass is 1 times 10 to the 4th. G is 9.8. Delta Y is going to be 10. Um, this is the change in energy of the water is negative. So the change in energy of the power station is positive. So I kind, of, I kind of glossed over that. That's fine. And this is all over one second. So let's put that in our calculator clear 0. 0.5 times 1 times 10 to the fourth times 9.8 times 10 equals I get 4.9 times 10 to the 1 2 3 4 fifth watts that's actually not bad um, so 490,000 watts 490 kilowatts. So that's that. Real life example.